Yo, 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 what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy all right. Friday. All right, all right, all right. What's up? Make some noise, Roscoe. Ah. Give it up for Daya Betty. Guys. What's up, what's up? Keep that going for Crystal Method. And one of your competitors this season, the stunning Lucy LaDuca. Yes. Yeah. Ladies, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. We're I, so happy to have yes. you guys. We are full tonight. Yes. How are you, Roscoe? Are you ready for this shindig? Yes. Gorgeous. Really quick, if you have not pushed that subscribe button, YouTube, go ahead and push subscribe. Let everybody Hello. know you can get treats and drinks and food and all that good stuff. There is no videotaping. Do not forget about that. You may take photos and all that, but no videotaping. Video Anything else before we get started? We I got here kind of late. That's it. So. That's it. Let's drink some House of Love and have some good time. Y'all ready? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Mikey, we got how, how much? Five, five seconds. Five, all right. Well, there we go. Let's go. Until self-destruct. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Now... We did get started kind of quick, and we jumped into our seats and whatnot, but can we give a proper welcome to our guests, please? Let's make some noise for them. Yeah. Welcome, 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 ladies. How are we doing today? Everyone doing all right? Um, yeah, Lucy first it. or second? Huh? Lucy first or second? <laughs> <laughs> I was definitely in second place. I don't give a fuck what Luck says. I was second. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. shit. We didn't win. Neither of us won, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But if someone were to win, who would it have been? Hmm. Out of the two of us? Well, I think it might have been Dolly Parton. I think it might have been. Sickening. <laughs> I want more of it. I want more of that. That's fair. Well, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll pull her out a little later tonight. Ooh, maybe tonight hey. for the show. I mean, maybe. There's a show after this, right? Yeah. That's what someone told me in the back. There's a show tonight, right? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. We, we go on at, uh, Sean, is still 1030, correct? Is the show time? Yes, show yeah. time is 1030, so stick around. All of the entertainers you see up on stage will be performing tonight. So stick around for that. Now, um, okay, let's talk about what we just saw right now. Um, it's Snatch Game so early Episode in the season. Three. So yeah. Now, you are there. What is going through your mind? You're like, fuck, Snatch Game, what? We were really, really surprised. Because normally Snatch Game is halfway-ish through, and we feel like we just got there. And so it was, it was very, very surprising. We knew that that was kind of the gag that Rue was trying to pull, just putting Snatch Game right at the beginning and really just <laughs> showcasing all the people that can or cannot do celebrity impersonations. What are you saying, Lucy? <laughs> I'm Ooh. saying that everyone did amazing. Everyone was so no, fucking kind. I was just... The I was... I, I was... I, I was asking for Crystal. I was asking for Crystal. Fierce. Obviously, I'm not a comedy queen, you guys. God damn it. Yeah, who gave this bitch a mic? Yeah. God, shut I mean, up. Your Ozzy was decent, but... Uh, uh, when she went Ozzy, 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 oi, 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 <laughs> that got me. And apparently, no one thought that was funny. What about uh, your poppy, uh, Crystal? How was that for you? That was one of the most painful things I've ever done. Yay, trauma. That was, was the best Princess Poppy I've ever seen. No, Princess it was Poppy. Incredible. <laughs> Shame. It was incredible. Shame. I, I was already crying in Rue's arms before Snatch Game started, so the fact that I wasn't crying as Poppy, I was like, this is a win. <laughs> All I heard was you and Rue's arms. That's all I heard. Yeah, I think about that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so having Snatch Game that early, do y'all feel like that really put the pressure on to like separate who's here to compete, who did their homework for Drag Race? I would definitely say so. I think that Snatch Game is the, the episode that really sort of separates the ones who are really in it to win it. And it's hard. Snatch Game's hard. Yeah. It is. And like you do have to be prepared. You do. It's, it's so improv, uncomfortable. It's, it's so hard. quiet. Oh my gosh. But no, it I'm is, so excited yeah. they're doing it early because so many girls are like, I want to make it to Snatch Game. And now they all have. <laughs> okay, we get to really see who bombs. <laughs> now, I do have a question. You did choose um, Rivers, Miss Rivers. Rivers, Miss Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers, yes, yes. yes. Now, Rest in peace. She's you, dead. Couldn't did, be deader. <laughs> did you have any others in mind? Um, as backups. Yes. So um, I, Ellen was one of my backups because oh, yeah. um, she and I have the same government nose. And, um, and then I really wanted to do JonBenet Ramsey, but they told me no. Oh, shit. 
I said, why not? And they said, we can't have you be a dead six-year-old. I was like, yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. That's controversial. <laughs> I thought this was bad. Okay. okay. Wow. All right, from the first group, <laughs> do we have any, uh, all three of you, do, do we have any favorites? And who do we think is not so safe? I thought Rosie, uh, uh, Mistress yeah. Rosie. <laughs> Fucking sickening. She was funny. I thought she was doing John Travolta. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, hey, hey, what are you talking? It did go into. I also love that Anitra like ended up being British halfway through. <laughs> she was full South African. Yeah. Also, she's like, wait, uh, <laughs> it's the it's the mushroom sauce. <laughs> <laughs> she looked cut though. That was good. Like, th th okay, were you guys able to watch? Yeah, did you get to watch? No, that's my first time seeing that half. Okay. We did, we couldn't we didn't see the. You uh, didn't get to size up the, the competition. No, we did not. So, what were you guys doing while this <laughs> is going on? Getting ready. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We were just we were just doing our, our mugs while while they were doing whatever. whatever. No, I'm just kidding. No, they slayed. <laughs> so they you slayed. had so much time to get ready. Um, we had an in, in equal amount of time. Okay. To get ready. And how long were you guys doing the game for? Um, it was quick. It I, I don't really remember because when you're on set, it's like crazy. But it's. Very, very, very fast. I mean, was that the same for you guys? It was so Ours quick. dragged on forever. Oh. <laughs> ours was Cheers. really quick. We also had 87 contestants in ours, so they True. had to really go through. True. And now it's been cut down to 41 minutes, so it, they had to really speed through it. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're getting to the point yeah. with, that, with that cut down, yeah. yeah. Um, we noticed they didn't even do the walkthrough this time. Did they do that with y'all? I... I, I in my opinion, yes, we did do a walkthrough. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to recollect that. Yes, we did a walkthrough. Smart girl. Smart, smart girl. In yes. my recollection. In my opinion, yes, we did a walkthrough. Well, they didn't show it. In so. my opinion, they did not show it. <laughs> so, um, at the time that you may or may not have had this walkthrough, <laughs> did RuPaul maybe or may not have suggested a different character or for anyone was it for anyone or was it like you know. oh yeah that's a good one or did anyone be like uh there I don't were know about uh, that. there were if there had been a walkthrough uh you can always see on Rue's face when you say who you're going to do and she's never heard of that person and then i think you're just kind of you're just kind Confirmed. of in danger girl you know <laughs> Uh, yeah, if Rue's never heard of it, then then it better be the funniest shit she's ever seen, you know. So some people did uh, did switch it up, but you know. Is there anyone that should have switched it up that did it? Um, I really should have done Rosie O'Donnell. I, <laughs> yeah, I would have been much more successful. And Mistress should have did Abby Lee Miller. <laughs> yes. Well, she, she did. It? Yeah, <laughs> right, right. An accident. That was so fucking funny. <laughs> she's like, oh, well, wrong bit, wrong she's bit. Like, oh shit, where am I at? Um, so who do we think didn't do so well in the first group? I thought it was pretty good, but the fact that like Lux was so quiet, I'm assuming that maybe there wasn't a lot. And who else was quiet? I saw someone else. Saucy was shown. off. Uh, Malaysia. Yeah. She was quiet. Yeah. Just she well, was just naming songs and to, like, catchphrases. And and well, two sometimes, and, and you guys have experienced this. They don't show all of them, right? Sometimes, you know, it's just there's a lot of material, but they just don't get shown. Yeah, Here but I world. thought Marsha, Marsha, Marsha did a good job of, like... Oh, yeah. Even when it wasn't on her, so she was, good. like, yes. trying to interact yes. with other girls, yeah. which, like, my season, that's, like, what we were not doing, and Rue hates that. Rue wants you to, like, yeah. play with each other. <laughs> Let's see what All right, and we're back. Okay, that wow. was both... Yes. Yeah, yeah, just do it. Now just do it. Yeah, yeah. Just do it. Yes, absolutely. Oh, so stop it, stop it, please. Oh, God, you're going to bring me back from the dead. That I was, was literally sitting here next to her. I was like, how are you not laughing at this? Yeah. I was like, I know it's you, but goddamn, that was so good. Thanks, girl. It was both amazing to watch, and then you span over to the other side, and it was cringe. Yeah. You there, did that give you material? Because, I mean, she's kind of an insult comic, right? So... Oh yeah, I mean they they could have done a four hour episode just with like I did not shut the fuck up during Snatch Game because I I came really 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 prepared. I know Jones comedy like the back of my dick. I know it so well. And uh, no, I went the back, the back. I stand over a mirror. The back, bitch. No, I really do. And I I just I was like I I'm gonna make Rue laugh so hard she's gonna 
piss in this really expensive suit. And she like could not breathe at certain points. It really was amazing. It was amazing. It's, yeah, it felt amazing. I want to say it's also not a coincidence. You were in that main spot where most of the winners are at, bitch. So hopefully you get that crown tonight. Let's Girl, do it. I hope so. And, and now, on top they, of that, I want to say that you not only came with one character, you did Dolly last week. So, like, you, you, that's just genius. Thanks, girl. Yeah. It was funny to see all the kids online going, wow, she really blew her load with Dolly. She's going to fucking suck at the Snatch Game. And I was like, you just wait. <laughs> Caramel, Caramel brought a, a good point about that one spot. Now, did they place you there, or did you choose to sit there? Uh, in my opinion, we were placed, <laughs> we were placed where, where we had to go. Okay. Was it uncomfortable watching your um, fellow contestants bomb? Um, I don't. I don't mean to sound self-centered, but I was there to fucking win, so I don't remember anything. As you I don't should remember be, what anybody bitch, else said. As you should be. I don't remember what her, anybody else seriously. said. Seriously. I now spent a lot of money to be there, so I was not going home. You know. Okay. Now let me ask you this: Would you have now seeing this in the first group? Do you think that you would have excelled even better with the other girls? Um, I think it, it didn't matter what okay, configuration bitch, it was. Okay, I don't honestly. think so either. I really, I knew that I was going to kill it with I think my it's junk. better that yeah. you were with the bad ones. So that <laughs> <be> <laughs> Who was bad? Um, Spice made me feel so good about my Snatch Game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I was watching one... Spice, I'm like, she's, she's from Springfield, Missouri with okay, that fucking listen, mallet. We, I love them, but I, have, I can't tell the difference between the two of them. Spice so, paints dark. Also, if I was Trisha Paytas, I would have shown up in like a McDonald's uniform. Hello. Yes. Yes. That was a tough one because I, I, in my opinion, Rue did not know who Trisha Paytas was. No. She or Bretman Rock, or uh, the who, who did Malaysia do? Her knowledge of. I forget her internet. name. I forget her name. Who? Who did Malaysia? Saucy, Saucy, Santana. Santana. Saucy Santana. Yeah, Rue and I did not know who that was. You didn't know Obviously. who that was until I just told you. Yes, so. exactly. What do you, material girl. What do ladies think about doing people who are... I mean, I'm not going to call them celebrities because in my opinion, they're just not. They're internet sensations. The pig crew? Uh, you know, <laughs> Ooh, that's they're true. Gonna get, they're going to get true. you. Uh, the full bold, bold shots? What do you Come guys... On. How do you guys what feel bold about that? Bold shot. <laughs> I didn't see a bold, honey. <laughs> Oh, we got five seconds. We got five seconds. Okay, we're going to go right back. We'll, we'll, five, we'll take you back. Five, four, back. three, two, two. All right, we're one. back, people. We're back. Okay, so we've had this discussion before with the other girls about whether the runway really matters or not anymore. Um, watching this, I think there were some clear top, right, including oh, yeah. yourself. But the bottom yeah. was all over the place. So I think in an in a, in a episode like this, the runway matters. Runway I think it's is us. going to matter. Exactly. So based on it, what, on the runway and performances, who are your choices for uh, the bottom? The bottom. bottoms, <laughs> not tops. Wow, we're just going straight there. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. I, mean, I was like, easy ready? Let's let's just ready? Bottom. We all agree. Sugar. Sugar? Yeah. Not a nightmare. Oh, correct. That was not a nightmare. Mar Beautiful. Cute. Yeah. Who else is in the... Oh, well, mm. Marsha. She came out first with those <gasps> pants. Yeah. But the dentist. I, that, I, I was waiting for like a reveal or something. Yeah. Like yeah. That. I feel like it was just missing one more there thing. There could have been lit blood in the mouth. I don't know. Yeah. And I live for her drag, but Malaysia Baby Doll Fox, it just gave me another yeah. what that she's one been was, doing already. Yeah. It was the same silhouette, that the one same was bad. hair. I enjoyed the lip shape and the cheek blush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will say. Um... That's nice. Also not a nightmare. Who was a nightmare? Sasha Colby. Oh, yeah. my, God. oh my God. And beautiful. And, and beautiful. beautiful. And, and Lucy, of course. <laughs> okay. Of course. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Lucy, let's touch base. Um, who made your garment for this runway? I made that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Fuck yeah. Yeah, I made that. I, I really do love to sew. I, I love to. It's, uh, it's a skill that comes in handy. Because you can't buy something that fits these titties uh, <laughs> <laughs> off the rack. Now, when you saw all the girls getting ready and we see three or four tarantulas, was that a read in the room in that moment? Yeah, I was happy that I was not in a tarantula costume, for sure. I mean, they all looked beautiful, but, you know, once you're there and you see everybody's thing, you can't really have, you can do. You can't have a backup for everything. Who had the you know? best spider outfit? The Ooh, yeah. best spider outfit out of all of them. Oh, I, I like to meet Bitch, if she licks her finger and touches her pussy one more time, <laughs> I'm going to fall out. And that was during COVID times, girl. <laughs> you know what? I thought, uh, what do you guys think about, um, I believe it was Lux. To me, 
it saved her. She was horrible in Snatch, oh, yeah. but she was dragging the the that the center, the center block. Yeah. She just and needed she a gray looked, tight. Yeah, she looked. I mean, and it was so I mean, good. I it really looked like a nightmare. She sacrificed ten pounds in her suitcase for that cinder block. So honestly, it, uh, props to her for that. It was, was foam, it girl. Foam? It was foam. It was, it was foam. Girl. It was. It was light. It was light. Yeah, yeah. No, but I love that look. I mean, that that look was so. It was. It was like really simply done, but really like it was very effective. Execution. It told a story, which was really really cool. I did love auras. That was beautiful. Oh yeah, and yeah. The, it was cool that you from the front it just looked like a beautiful gown. It was giving like Ava Peron, and then from the back it was like skinned up. That was really cool. And and how did you guys like Aura's uh, snatch game? Crickets. I want. Crickets. I want to meet Bretman Rock. Trigger. Right now, but not that Bretman Rock. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it saved? Do you think her runway might save her from the bottom? Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Ladies, I'm gonna there say, were too many I, bottoms in, I was the, gonna in say, the runway. There were so or many five bottoms. Seconds. There were many bottoms yeah. in both, in the runway yeah. and in the challenge. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Because Selena killed it in the challenge, but I'm sorry, that was not it for me. Like the runway. <laughs> Zombie titties. Okay. Do we agree with the the criticism across the board? Yeah. Yeah. All the way. I think Lucy, Lucy, really, really yeah. quick. I I do have to say this really quick, Lucy. Like, not only were you smart and funny, but Sometimes impersonations are kind of off, but they're still funny. But your impersonation was so spot on. Thank the you. The voice. Thank you very much. The mannerism. Thanks. Everything. It was really spot on. It was really one of the best. Uh, Thank you so much. Ever. Thank it was you. so good. I um, will. I, not to brag. I'm not a. I'm. Not, I would never brag. But please I do. know her. She's not a bragger. No, she's known me for years and years and years. We met this afternoon. But. I, I wish that they had, had let you all see that Michelle Visage said, thank you for bringing Joan Rivers back to life. And I was like, I can go home now. I mean, like, that was so incredible to hear because that bitch does not give you a compliment unless she means it. It's just like Crystal. And also, I've known her for a long, long time. A long time. Also, Michelle's impersonation of Miley was kind of good, right? It was fun. It was, it, when they do shit like that, I'm like, okay, now that's a judge. You could, you, you know how to do your shit. It was kind of cute to see. It was good to see. Okay, so um, I, I still don't know who is going to be in the bottom, but I will tell you this. My two top are going to be Lucy and Mistress. Those are my two hey, top. Yeah. Let's ask everybody else, what do you guys think? Who are your two tops? I would say performance-wise, definitely Lucy and Mistress. I didn't like Mistress's look as much. The runway. Yeah, yeah but performance-wise, they slayed the challenge for sure. Okay, now I'm going to copy Di, and I also <laughs> think that it's Lucy and Mistress. <laughs> okay. For the bottom, too, right? But for the bottom. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, uh, Batty, what do you think? Diva? I'm going to say the same, piggyback off of them. Um, the only thing that I wish is that um, Mistress had a little more tool or something that was off of the rhinestone. Was that fully rhinestone? Do you know her cage? Uh, yeah, the, ca the cage. The, it, the so necklace. the cage was supposed to be a, a, a spider web. Okay. Didn't read in one. Your, as well. the, the, the thing that sucked is that she had to explain it. Had she not explained yeah. it, nobody would have known it had to do shit with spiders. <laughs> so that's what really sucked about it. She looked beautiful, but it didn't read as spider, spider nightmare or whatever it was really going for. But How about what, for you? Care about? For what? Oh, the tops? Sorry. Um, my two tops would be uh, Bruno and Calix. Yeah, yeah. Those are my two tops. Yeah. Calix would be my course, bottom for sure. For sure. Uh, sure not top. You hear that? We follow each other on Instagram. You can DM me anytime, <laughs> Calix. He's cute. I saw you looking. <laughs> Do you remember any jokes or anything that you said that day that you that they did not air that you remember? You're like, man, that was such a good one. I wish they would have aired it. Oh, um, God. There, there were literally probably hundreds. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I told a joke about uh, how I had a bad flight on the way there. I said, there was a child behind me kicking and screaming the entire time. All I could think is, where is Casey Anthony when you need her? I mean, <laughs> and I... Oh! Oh! They would have let it happen on uh, I make, Australia. Uh, I said, Je oh oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ was a fag. The only way to get visible abdominal muscles is sucking dick. I mean, oh, oh, please. Don't tell me you don't know about Miss Jesus, please. Jesus was a Mary, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, my God. That I wish was they would have aired it. Make some fucking noise for that. Clap your hands. Yes, Lucy. Amazing. So I mean, that is exactly Joan's fucking type of comedy. 
Hilarious, but so shocking. Oh, my God. Oh my Go ahead, God. Lucy. And that's exactly how you do it, though, on the spot like that. How many times did you audition, and did you use Joan every time? Uh, no. So I auditioned three times, and um, I used Joan for the second and third time. I had never done Joan before. But uh, but when I was doing my audition for the second time, I needed someone else, and I was like, I could probably do a Joan because I've always been able to do voices. But now she'll probably buy me a house. Let's go, great choice. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, and we're back. Yes. <laughs> Next week the drama begins. I live. No, I, I live. live. I but live. let's start. Let's start by congratulating our winner. Thank you. Yeah! Yeah! I mean. Job well thank you. done tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Joining the winners of Snatch Game, you were also the quickest winner of Snatch Game for your season. So congrats. Bitch. Yeah, only took me a couple episodes. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> yeah. All right. And you won against the biggest group. There were so many. She so did. you won. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So congrats yes. on that. But we had to say bye to one of the twins tonight. However, let's talk about the choreographed lip sync. That was kind of so kind. We Wait, caught I, it all at the same hold time. On. We're like. Uh, Were they sharing a room? Lucy, like, I was just going to ask. Yes, it had how to the be. fuck did they share a room? No, they didn't they didn't share a room. I think that they just like you know how twins have just that like telekinesis between their yes. or whatever like they can like just speak to each other just looking at each other. A twin confirmed. You have a twin? Right here. Is he here? Uh, Jason, uh, you have a twin? Can you please get up here and do a choreographed number? Is he identical? I bet she's hot too though. I bet she's hot. I bet she's hot. <laughs> Oh my God! He gets hit on every it's week. It's me. Can you imagine? It's like a, it's an episode of Maury. <laughs> now I love sugar. I love spice, but um, I really love Crystal. Crystal Daya. If y'all were in a lip sync together, who would win? The original sugar and spice. Um, so I guess. I, so I guess, honestly. So I guess I'm sugar. So we know what that means. You know what that means. <laughs> Finally, she wins something. Oh, wait. We, bo <laughs> we, we both lost. Wait, we both made it to lost the same spot. the finale, wait. okay? That was my line. Y'all made it to the same spot. <laughs> oh, my God. On that note, let's tell them who's coming next week. <laughs> <laughs> Who is coming next week? We have special... Oh, wait. No, what? Sugar and Spice will be here next week. Bibi Zahara Bene will be here <laughs> next week. Wait, wait, I met this with wait them. but I want to, I, I, literally, I'm here as a special guest, Irene the Alien and Princess Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> and Orion Story. It says that on yours. So I'm like, that's no. shady. No. Ours doesn't no. say that. Ours All three of them. <laughs> Sabotage, you got me. No, it does say that at you the top. Me. I'm at the bottom. Uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. gotcha, 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 at the bottom, yeah. Next week. Um, um, next okay, week. so listen, right now uh, we have a little bit of a different um, format today. We're going to start watching Because Best right Friends now that Hollywood. other show that will remain nameless is going to be playing. Um, obviously, we are not airing that. We actually like to show people with talent. Um, so what we are going so to I do... So I will leave. What we're going to do... <laughs> is we're going to change uh, our Q&A portion. We're going to go ahead and do it in the middle now. So we'll take some questions from the audience uh, for our lovely, lovely guests at this time. After that, when that show is over... She is um, not saying the name of the show. <laughs> when that is over, we will go to Untucked because Untucked will play at that time. And then we'll go ahead and continue about the night. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, course. cool. So uh, before we get into that, why don't we do our shout outs? Uh, yeah, for... let's. Let's say hello to all of our friends watching. Go for it. First and foremost, let's give it up to God. Amen. Amen. We Can wanna, I get an amen? We want to start our shout outs this week. Thank you guys so much for watching each week, um, liking and subscribing. Shout out to Lav in Serbia. We want to say hello to Frank in the Dominican Republic. What's yes. up? Oh, uh, hello to Noah in East Washington. Hi, Noah. Hi, Aaron in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Hello to Salmon in Syria. To Nas, how would you even say that? Nasir? Yeah. Nasir in Kuwait. Wow, all the way in Kuwait. Yeah. Toby in Austria. Wow. And lastly, hello to Les in the Philippines. Let us know in the comments where you're oh, watching. Oh, no, bitch, you missed oh, no, the whole line. line. Did you just skip everything, you just bitch? Skip what about Sonora Q and Owensboro? Them too. They also Sonora said hello. I see that. Sonora Q in Queensboro. Her. Got Rachel uh -huh. in Montreal. Jonas in Belgium. He said hey. I forgot. 
Sahid in Trinidad. And less in and the less. Philippines. They said hey twice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's say hi. Continue to comment on where you're watching from. Leave those comments in our video. And yeah, we will get to all your shout outs throughout the season. Oh. Now, to bring it back. Yes. Um, while you divas are on stage, did you agree with the safe queens? We had um, Amethyst, Anitra, Jax, Lux, Malaysia, Robin, Selena, and Sasha. Was there any of them that you thought should have been in the bottom or top? Yeah, because Spice said one of them should have been there. Yeah, I want to name sugar. names. I want so, Spice to name names. <laughs> who Maybe is next that? episode. Okay, I thought... I thought um, Amethyst did really well in the snatch. Tan Surprisingly was so good. Well. Yeah, they read her last that, week. Also, is that the first time there's been a non-like celebrity character, like a, an improv character, done on Snapchat? No, I think Liv Lux, Olivia Lux. I think she did. No, that was an internet. She, Tabitha Brown. She did she Tabitha did, Brown. Yeah. Internet. Yeah. Never mind. So yeah, I mean, I think for the first time doing that, she knocked it out of the park. The jokes were they were hitting for me. Our totally. first ever painting. Yes. Wow. Oh, yes, the Mona Lisa. It was the way you said it. Painting. The painting, <laughs> wow. I mean, there were she a couple... She stung out her tongue, and they didn't show any more jokes. I was just going to say, I mean, there was... It gets between, you through the competition, honey. Between Jax and Sasha Colby, they got, like, no time. one. They got no time. Well, that's because last episode, Sasha won, and Jax got all that shit. Lucy hogged all the screen time. <laughs> Damn it, Lucy. She's the only one that cried about her childhood. Okay. <laughs> sure did. Hours and hours of jokes. Friendship over! I've had it! She abuses me like this every time we see each other. Speaking of childhood. Every time, every one time. <laughs> Lucy, you're close with your family, correct? Yes, I love my family. Um, I saw your video of when you revealed to them that you were cast on this season. That was so beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Crystal or Diet, were y'all able to share the same experiences with your families or no? No. <laughs> I only told her. <laughs> My po oh wait, I probably shouldn't be saying this. There you was could. A, there was a small. Go for it. Yeah, it's fine. Your I literally is only over. told my drag family and and my my partner. That's it all worked. I told. Only people I told and like a few designers, but it was summer camp as far as I knew. My parents didn't know what RuPaul was, so they were like, "Oh, it's like a YouTube thing." <laughs> Lucy, was your family aware of the show and the how big it was? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, my family knows that I have been trying to get on the show for a couple of years because I've done drag. This is my 13th year doing drag. Oh, yeah. yeah, girl. You can tell. Absolutely. Wow. Oh, and a good... I thought you were no, calling no, me no. old, bitch. No, bitch. I'm she a lot went, older than you. You no, can no, no, no. tell. No, I'm saying I just in, a, <laughs> in a good way. She's Thank definitely you. a lot more seasoned and polished than... Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank you. absolutely. Yeah, so, th you know, I, they've seen me go through this journey, and they've all come to my brunches and, and everything like that. So I don't know if they knew how big the show was. You know, there was a couple people who were like, so do you think this will open any doors? <laughs> Like, um, I think so. But you know what? I have to say my biggest fan has always been my dad. My dad Gabo. is a, Oh, my God. My dad is a huge, huge fan of the show. Huge fan of mine. And you would never think he would be. He uh, was, was in law enforcement. He's a black belt. He was like a sniper. And, like, he's like a guy. You know what I mean? He loves, like, cigars and whiskey and shit. I like whiskey, too. And you're a construction worker. You're a guy. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that comes off as a read. I'm like, women can bitch, be why you try her like that? Good. But yeah, not a read good. at no, all. No, because she was like, he's a guy, he's a guy, he's a guy. Like, meaning that, like, because he is such mas so masculine, were you surprised that he like lives for you because it's so feminine? I think so. I mean, but he's just, he's. I'm the youngest of four kids, and so he, uh, he's supportive of everything that each of us want to do. So whatever we want to do, he's like super into. Hell yeah, supportive dad. Fuck yeah. Are, Are there any dads we... here today? No one here is a father? No dads. This Are is there not... any moms here today? Moms? There's... Okay. There's one. Oh, there's one mom in the back. Hey. Hey guys, that's my mom! <laughs> <laughs> Mama LaDuca. All right, I'm Lucy. Kidding. My mom lives in Florida. Do you actually own a pair of LaDucas? I don't. They're way too short. Okay. T -t -t -t. No, no. And they're, they're pricey, too. LaDucas are pricey. Uh, does mistress? She Bitch, loves a short I girl. was gonna. I knew you were gonna go there. <laughs> Actually, for mistress, they're too tall. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they're you know, if there's one there. season that I would love you to to see you two do binge queens, it would be this one. Wait, what? 
To see you two do binge queens, that's where you guys sit on the couch, remember? Where you do? <laughs> yes, you yes, binge yes, yes, the yes. whole. We were stoned the whole time, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. It's, uh, we love I your chemistry. I do have a question for Lucy. When you walked in and you see all these people from Connecticut, how, uh, how was that? What, what did that do for you? Um, it was, uh, it, uh, for about five minutes, I was like, oh my God, hey girls. And then after that, I was like, I'll see you at the end, girl. Like okay. it didn't it didn't phase me really. I wasn't I wasn't thinking, oh, like, you know, we're we're gonna do this together or they're my enemies or anything like that. I was just like, they are they are one of the eighty seven girls on this season and they're you know, side I, characters to the yeah, Lisa Duca show. I just you know, I was I, I had my eyes uh, you know, set on the crown, so it didn't matter if people were from Connecticut or whatever. My dad could have been there and I would have been like, Hey sis, you know what I mean? <laughs> And do you, is there like a hometown bar that you work at with them or do you ever oh, get yeah, to see yeah, yeah. them? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the thing. Um, uh, you know, I, it's kind of frustrating. So many people are like, wow, I had no idea that there's any drag in Connecticut. And I'm like, well, I'm from there and I'm wearing a wig. So there was actually, yes. Oh, is this for me? Oh, my God. God bless you. <laughs> Guys, can we do a toast? Is, is, am, I, am I stepping on your toes? No. No? Okay. Guys, um, this is the, to the traditional toast that I do at all of my brunches. It's a little sappy, okay? But I'm, I'm getting a Be little vulnerable. older. Go there with us. Okay. So, <clears throat> to me, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> to Lucy. Yes. That was the best and, and so So fitting. eloquent. I can't say that without She has crying. a way with words. <laughs> I really do. I really so, do. So speaking of uh, home, ba home bars, since we're talking about home bars, uh, Roscoe's. I have some news about Roscoe's. Spin. Um, yes. So we have a little, a, a little graphic that you're going to see on the screen right now. Mikey, if you want to share that really quick. But Roscoe's has been nominated <laughs> for Chicago's Reader's Best of Chicago Awards for Woo! the Best yeah! Gay Bar. Yeah! So Hi, everybody, Queen. take your phone out, scan that QR code, and vote, vote, vote. Yep, we're giving you permission to pull out your phone. Yeah, pull it out. How many times pull have it you out. said that, Maddie? You have to vote for a lot of stuff, so just save the tab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so let's go ahead and vote for Roscoe's And you guys have to scroll and bar. scroll and scroll. Scroll, I think it's all the way down mid, like towards the end. Yes, and, um, please scroll, scroll, vote, vote, It's going to be under arts and culture, best venue. Ooh, there's a cannabis section. Skip it. I did this last night, yeah. You did it last night? I feel 5,000 years old doing this right now. I'm like, what's okay. a QR code? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, on that note, we we're going to we're gonna want to jump into the audience and take some questions. You show me later how yeah. to vote. Okay. So, <laughs> yes, please think of the context of your question. Nation and Batty will make their way uh, around. Yes, real quick. Um, let's try to refrain from bringing up other girls. For, I mean, from the season, obviously the girls that you know they're acquainted with but other girls don't don't bring them up and let's try to stay stay away from like the politics and all that kind of stuff where we want to keep this very lighthearted light and yeah, fun yeah. sometimes you get these questions and you're like what the fuck no i can't <laughs> like okay but anyway um, yes. do we have any questions we do we'll we're start gonna start right, right over, here. over here with josh josh has a okay, question okay sure go for it hi i'm josh from chicago um, hi hi lucy hi yes hi <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Josh, guys, Josh um, ran across the street about an hour ago to buy me tights. So give it up for Josh. Yes, we love an ally. <laughs> Just because you're on Drag Race does not um, automatically make you prepared for this job. So my question is for Lucy. I feel like they're trying so hard to make the Amethyst and Robin relationship a talking point. Being that you're also from Connecticut, like, did you know them when they dated? Was it even a thing when they dated? And are you, like, annoyed to see how much airtime it's getting? Because I am. <laughs> oh, wow, Joshua. Um, so, no, I, I do know, I did know um, Amethyst and, and Robin from home. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I had no idea that they had ever dated. I had no, I'm serious. I had no clue. So I don't know if maybe they just live a little too far for me or maybe I just wasn't listening that day. But I, I, my hand to Dolly, I do not remember uh, them dating. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not annoyed by it. It's, it's a cute, it's a cute storyline. Yeah. yeah. They could have showed more of my Joan jokes, but. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. You know what? You'll see them all when I do like an hour long special or something like that. All right. I have another question for you. Oh, right over here. Name, where are you from, and your question. Uh, my name's Joe, and I'm from Chicago. Hey, and, Joe. Uh, I have a question for the three of you. 
Uh, we're all here because we're fans of Drag Race. And so, aside from your own season, what's your favorite season to rewatch? Ooh, favorite season to rewatch? All Stars 2. Oh, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a really, really good one. I like watching season 12, the Snatch Game episode. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I rewatched season seven a lot. I feel like that's kind of when it turned into like more fashion-y moments. It did. Kind of. So, season seven. Um, I would say probably... Uh, I, I really like the earlier seasons. Like, uh, I'm really obsessed with season three, actually. I love season three. That was Raja Manila, right? That was season three. Whew, thank God. Yeah, I, I love that season. That's a sickening season. All right, we have a question over here. Lucy, how do you balance your own humor with a Snatch Game character like Joan Rivers, who is also so humorous? Um, I think that the, the key to doing Snatch Game, especially if you're going to do a comedic character, um, is to make sure that you're speaking with their sense of humor, not your own. And so I've done... I'm a really, really big fan of hers, and so I've watched... E you know, every piece of footage that there is. And she made people laugh for 50 years. So I know um, what she would say if she were in a situation. So that's her sense of humor. I can't take credit for that. But I can take credit for knowing it back and forth, you know? Well put, well put. <laughs> All right, we have one. Uh, do you have... I have one over here. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hi, I'm, I'm Jacob. I'm, I'm from Chicago. Hey, Can Jacob. You, this is for Lucy. Can you do any other impersonations? Yes, um, I, I do a lot of celebrity impersonations, actually. Um, I do a really great Cher. I do Stevie Nicks. I do Madonna. I do Alexis from... Uh, Schitt's Creek. Uh, Schitt's Creek. Um, yeah, I, I do a, a ton of different celebrities. I love can, doing can, celebrities. Can, can you do Cher right now? I mean, I guess I can. <laughs> <laughs> Dark lady laughed and danced and lit the candles one by one. Danced to her gypsy music till her brew was done. Cackle. All right, we have a question over here. Hi, my question's for... What's your name? Tell the kids your name. My name is Casey, and my question's for all three of you. If you could have competed on any other season based on the guest judges, the challenges, or the runway, which season would you have competed on? I don't remember what season it was, but... <laughs> I'll help. Wait, was it... I hope it wasn't one of yours, because I'll be so embarrassed. Was Elvira on your season? Because it would have been so easy to win. No, she wasn't on Okay, okay, yeah. been on So um, Elvira is like my, my dream guest judge, and I'm so fucking pissed that some other bitches got to see her and meet her. I love her. She's tattooed on my leg. I, I love Elvira. So I would have done... What season was it? Four was the first one, so four. That's my answer, Casey. I don't know if I'd want to be on another one because I love my cast so much, but maybe... That is not what you said but, backstage. But no, that is yeah. not what She's she said backstage. On, she was dog walking I'm going for me. Don't believe a word that comes out of her mouth. I'm a monster. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, no, I think maybe if I did, it would be fun to have done 11 because then I could have toured and then also... Um, <laughs> A weird girl, a weird girl won that season, so maybe I would have had a chance. Aww. Valid points, valid points. Fierce. I feel like maybe season eight, just because I would want Bob to read me to filth in person, you know? I can get him on the phone right now. Yeah, like, that would be sickening. I guess season eight, I'm kind of like with Crystal, like, I probably wouldn't change it just because I really enjoy my, cra my cast, but... Um, yeah. That's not what Jasmine said. <laughs> or Georges. Or Am, am Ooh, I allowed to shit. ask a question? Can I ask a question? Is that You want to ask a question? Yeah, for these hosts. Yeah, go ahead. Go for um, it. Who, who are you guys really close with from your individual casts? I'm really close with Bosco and Willow. Um, and Bosco! Bosco! <laughs> and Angie. I got really close with Angie on tour. And Lady Camp. The top five is very, very close. Yeah. <laughs> Just um, a reminder, top five. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my Third top place. three sister. Uh, no, Gigi Good helped me move into my apartment in Koreatown with her long ass nails. She carried boxes. I was like, do not hurt yourself. Um, I'm really close with Heidi. That's my smoking buddy. And then I got so close with Jan on tour. And we also vacationed together in Miami. She's the best. Do you guys know that I know Jan? 
Well, I went to college with Jen. Oh, oh work. I did, yeah. Yeah, isn't that wild? And what's your opinion? What's my opinion on Jan? Ooh, y'all be nice now. And has it changed throughout the years? I'm definitely feeling the jantasy. I love every, I love every um, phase of, of her lips. I love each and every phase. <laughs> no, I, really, I love Jan so much. She's incredible. She's incredible. And sickening. She could paint, girl. And sing, bitch. I have oh, another yeah. question for you ladies over here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hi, my name's Aries Alexander. I'm visiting from Atlanta, and I just happened to see y'all up here. Love um, if you could only wear three colors in drag for the rest of your career, what would you pick? Oh, I love that. Okay, pink, blue, yellow. Ooh, pink, blue, yellow. Ah, come on, Friday. Yeah, um, I, I <laughs> would your do... your primary, bitch. Uh, red, silver, and black. Red, silver, and black. Yeah. I think mine would be pink, blue, and teal. What about you, Caramel? Um... Red, black, and white. Those just look so sleek together, bitch. Yeah, I would do black, white, and purple. Yeah. What about you, Nisha? I love black, white, and red. Period, yeah. Ah. Work, 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 colors. Work. I'm glad we all know our colors. <laughs> the color wheel. Yes, um, any other questions in the audience, by the way? While you do that, we were talking about Bob earlier. I just want to give a shout out to Bob, um, Bob. joining Madonna on the yeah! tour. How fierce. Um, yeah, wow. That is so sickening. Hopefully she can get us some tickets, because have you looked? The tickets are so expensive. So expensive. Right. Yeah, how about all the people that were going to see her sibling rivalry show? Me. It's oh. okay. We'll see it next year. Yeah, I have a question right over here. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm from Oakland, California, and hey, I was Sam. wondering if each of you would be comfortable disclosing how much money you spent on Drag Race and if it was worth it. Okay. I didn't That's spend any on Drag Race, and it was very I much afraid. worth it. Yes. <laughs> um, I spent like ju like four thousand, just under, um, and yeah, and it was sickening. And I made my finale look out of cardboard and paper mache and shit. So I spent no money, and Betty did all my hair, and Betty she paid all for hair. all my shit, and I paid for her season. <laughs> I think, like, other than what Crystal spent for me, which was, like, a majority, I think I spent maybe 1500 or 2000 of my own money. Um, <laughs> thank God for a mom that was on Drag Race before me. Find yourself me. a sugar wow. mama if you're going to compete. Yes. And before Lucy answers, they aren't dropping all this money right away. Sometimes the girls get to pay it back once they come back. So just keep that in mind. But too. not always. Yeah. Not always. And Lucy, if you're comfortable. Um, I, I spent... A little over 20. <gasps> and I went there not owing anyone a single cent. It was all yes. work. I didn't borrow, I didn't borrow no money from nobody. And it, it I think it was I think it was worth it. And did yeah. you make some stuff yourself? I did, yeah. I made several of my runways. Yeah. Damn, Which that's awesome. But hair is expensive, girl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, in this episode, I made this. Uh, I just go through the entire list. <laughs> also, it does benefit. The longer you've been in the game, the more you have in your arsenal, your closet. You can pull that oh, shit yeah, out. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's a thing, too, is that it's not just the runway looks. You need a lot of looks for the challenges and everything, too. So I brought everything I fucking owned. I mean, I was not going to not have something. What, who was the contestant that wore, like, a pair of boots, like, four times, and they called them out on it? Wasn't that Latrice? Jenny Lemon? Who was it? Ginny Lemon or Latrice? Somebody Latrice Royale, they kept for wearing sure. like the same she boots. Wore, like, but that was like, a long time ago, though. Yeah, yeah, it was ago. it was quite some time ago. Yeah, we have another question. All right, we're here. right over here. We got a question. Hey, Hello. hi, what's your name? Hello, my name is Milo. I'm from Chicago. Um, my question for all three of you is: if you had to recreate a Halloween costume from your childhood as a drag look, which one would you do? Spooky. Recreate a Halloween look from your childhood. <laughs> I was like literally the Red Ranger every year because we just reused the same costume. I was, I was Woody one year, so maybe I'd be like a slutty Power Ranger. I could do that. Period. I did a musical when I was like in kindergarten or first grade, and it was a, a Little Red Riding Hood, and I was the wolf. But it was like a '50s spin on the on the on you know on the story of the Little Red Riding Hood, and I loved that costume so much. My mom ended up paying the teacher for her to give it to me, Aww. and so I still have that costume to this day. I should. She's like, wearing it right now. I'm wearing it right now. No, but I think that would be really it would be really cute. It wouldn't make any sense, but 
you know. I would say uh, for me that would look sickening. We should do we should do this one day, all yeah. three of these. Um, well, there was one year that my mom forgot that the Halloween parade was happening at school, and so she, my mom was a very crafty mom, and so she threw together a scarecrow costume in like ten minutes in the morning, and um, I would do like a really fucked up, like creepy scarecrow character. That'd be really cool. Uh, one of the questions over here, they wanted to know, are you still doing construction? I am not currently doing construction. Were um, you in the union? Uh, I'm sorry? Were you in a union? I, I worked at a private company. Ah. Yes, honey. Um, I'm not currently doing construction. I'm not. So here's the thing, though. Like, we, you know, our schedules are very, very busy now post-show. And I, and I love this very much. But, like, if I have a couple of days off during the week, like, I would not be opposed to still doing like one day a week. I, just, I really wouldn't. You just start building a house out of nowhere. Yeah, you know, I should have. I, I should have just built a house for my talent. For your show. talent, that would have been in one minute. <laughs> in one minute. No, I mean, I and I, I really, do, I, I love construction. I like miss it. It's, it's what gave me these hands. You know you what I mean? A, a show on HGTV. Speaking, oh, a show on HGTV. That would be sickening. Uh, speaking of your hands, they had brought up a certain video that got passed around. Um, on what? at Ooh. the hotel, there was a DVD oh. player. <laughs> there was a DVD player. Apparently, got passed around at the hotel. Yes. Did you want to share what, what was on that DVD or what was what being were some shared? Of the titles on that player. Oh, I think one was like, they're not very PC. Let me just say, I did not come up with these titles, but I think one of them was called like, like Brazilian Dreams or something like that, um, which I was very into. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, 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 I think... I the think other one was RuPaul fucks Ross Matthews. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Period. The end. And it's chocolate. It really... <laughs> That's a great name for a porn. Let loose. Okay. Um, yeah, we, we had to, someone... I think Malaysia brought some and Jax brought some. Okay. And just passed it around. Jax. <laughs> I just had yeah. to watch the Property Brothers... <laughs> or or naked and afraid. Oh, you got naked and afraid on your TV? That's nice. That's real nice. Betty, do you have a question? I do. Over I have there? a question back here, gal. Hey, I'm Mike. Originally from Connecticut. Quick question. Oh, hey. You look <laughs> familiar, girl. Yeah. Quick question. What's your favorite karaoke song to sing? You fucking cunt. Um. <laughs> No, here's why. Because this bitch used to come to my karaoke. He sure did. He goes, I used to come to her karaoke. That I hosted as a boy. It was called Pool Boy Karaoke. And it was sickening. Uh, my favorite song to sing at karaoke. Um, maybe Celebrity Skin. That's a really, By I really whole like that one. Or the Doja Cat version. I'm sorry? The whole version or Doja Cat? Always version? whole. Always oh. whole. Now, I the answer know. to every question from now on will be always whole. I don't know how whole. that song goes. How, like, how does that go? Oh, make me over. I'm all I want to be. A walking study. And demonology. Hey, I'm so glad you can make and it. And that's all yeah, you can do? Yeah, <laughs> now <laughs> I really made it. Oh, my God. That was, that was good. Yes. Work. Are they going to cut off the YouTube channel? No, they'll just channel mute for that, that one. <laughs> All right, we'll we have see. a question right here for you. No, guys. That song's in public domain. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Is it? I think so. Hi, no, guys. it ain't. For anybody who wants to answer, I'm, my name's JM. Hello, hello. Oh, okay. Ooh, two letters. <laughs> Um, the season seems to be pointing a lot of fingers at the difference between uh, season performers and folks on the internet. Is drag for everyone or is drag race for everyone? Does that make sense? What was is drag for everyone and is drag race for everyone? Or. Okay. Good question. I think that uh, what's interesting about drag race as a show is that it's constantly evolving. And so, like, there are, when you think of, you know, the acting challenges, it's like quickly make something really, really funny. That's kind of like doing a TikTok, you know? And so there are things that they've brought in that sort of like, uh, highlights uh, some of the some of the people who are recent performers, but then there's also they keep in the ones like the sewing challenges. So like you better be a seasoned performer because you need to know how to do this stuff, or you're you know you're not gonna do well. So it's kind of a mix. It's a mixed bag when it comes to Drag Race. I think totally. Yeah, I think drags for everyone, but not everyone should do drag. <laughs> oh no, that totally. Shouldn't. 
100%. Why did you look at me when you said that? <laughs> okay, I looked at Betty, so just so we're clear. Um, no, and I think that it's fun to have the little rivalry, but there's I feel like there's just some things that the season's girls know about being behind the scenes, like Sugar and Spice, not knowing that the girls are just joking and not being mean to each other, you know? Yeah. I think that... Um, Maybe they would have known to like keep their shoes on. Rue hates that. Yeah, don't take your clothes off. <laughs> there are things Rue hate. Rue doesn't want to see a visible nipple. He doesn't want to see underwear. Yeah. Keep That's your why fucking Poppy went home. shoes and your fucking wigs on. Yeah. Right? Sure. Somebody wears yeah. tennis shoes the first episode or something? A methist. Yeah. A Did you say a methist? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a methist. A netra. Did Aura did, Aura a did too, right? Aura, Aura, yeah, she wore a flat boot. It girl. had a platform. Oh, yes. For her talent. It at least was a platform, yeah. It okay. had a platform. Um, saying the keep your shoes and wigs on, do you think Spice set Sugar up to go home? She said, take your shoe off and run around. I hope It'll so. It'll be funny. Could you imagine if Spice was like, I'm going to take this bitch out. <laughs> if, we will find Sugar, out next week. But if Sugar wouldn't have fallen, would it have been a double save? Because they, did the, they no. did the same thing. Hell no. They, <laughs> hell no. They said somebody. We'll, we'll find out next week, I guess. All right, we have another question for you ladies right over here. Yeah, Michael from Chicago. Uh, Lucy, we, you're a new favorite of ours. After tonight, you're incredible. Uh, you. Daya, we saw you live. You are incredible live. And Crystal, on your season, we rewatch season 12 all the time. That's why he yes, asked I'm that. Yes, better on TV. You are, oh my God, <laughs> insane. Uh, question is for Naisha. Naisha, what was your Snatch Game character that you had prepared for your season? Oh, I just got asked that. That's so funny. Um, I was going to do Kathy Griffin, and I had Nina Flowers. Because Nina's my good friend. Loga. And, and, and be contrary soon. to belief, everyone's like, because I paint like this, people think I can't do makeup. They're like, oh, you can only do a pretty face. So I was like, oh, I want to do Nina and do the, just that insane makeup and erase my brow. And then what are you saying, bitch? That you're very talented with makeup. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, so I was like, I want to do somebody like, I know she has the accents and she was season one and I just love her so much. So yeah, those are the two that I have. Yeah. Um, any more questions? Y'all better over come there. up with some questions. Do you have one over here? Jason, you have it? No? Over here. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, who? Right here? Oh, excuse me, baby. Um, I have a I have a question for Lucy. What's your name, Diva? Uh, uh, I'm I, my name's Julie. Hi, Julie. I'm a big big Lucy fan. Um, I was wondering how many inches is a kitten heel because I was told to never wear those by Lucy. Bitch. <laughs> how many inches are? So this full one? disclosure, this is my best friend from college. I haven't seen her in probably five years ish, um, and I did tell her in college I was like that gay bitch who was like never wear a kitten heel. You'll never get anywhere in life. Um, I would say a kitten heel three or under. Listen, I think yeah. if you're in full whore, full whore drag, like a four inch is the minimum. Uh-huh. I wouldn't wear under four. No, I would never wear under four. I'd feel like a grandma. You know? Yeah. I've done many tours in tennis shoes that I had foot covers on to have weird feet. So I'm just creative. And I hate being uncomfortable. And if my shoe feet hurt, I want to go home. I wore these because I can sit down all day. You almost just broke my orbital bone, bitch. <laughs> she almost broke that. hers outside, too, honey. Body. Can, you, can you imagine what, the, what all the gossip channels would say tomorrow if you broke my nose? I'm not that strong. Yeah, you are. You're very well, strong. Why are you looking at my shoe, bitch? <laughs> I think I... Listen, I think Batty might have a kitten. No, here I do not. You're a cunt. Wait, <laughs> let's judge. Let's judge. Batty, Jason. get up here on the stage. Get up here on the stage. That's a fucking kitten heel, Batty. That's a pussy puppy. You fucking baby. tried it. No, that's passable. That's a fucking kitten heel, bitch. That's four inches. You can suck it, you bitch. <laughs> this guy's, it's disguised in a thigh high. That's I want to speak to the manager of this place. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking kitten heel. All right, we, we have a question right over here for you, ladies. Hi, uh, my name's Tyler. Uh, this is Hi. for Daya and Crystal. Uh, I was just wondering, what was your guys' favorite slash proudest runway that you did on your guys' season? Love that. Proudest runway. Do you remember that, Fargo? 
I remember that I was like so nervous about getting sent home and not being able to wear my purple outfit because I spent like four days hand stitching it. That was the first one she started. It was the first one I started. My boyfriend was like, what are you doing? You spent four days on this and there's so many other clothes that need to be made. And she had scraps of fabric everywhere. The shredded one? My mom, yeah, my mom helped me cut out all the, I, yeah, I was so happy I got to wear that one. And I won that week, so. Ah, fierce. Um, okay, so my <laughs> ribbon runway, even though it got all fucked up, you guys, that was the last runway we got, so the signature drag runway. We were actually supposed to have a different no. runway category. In her opinion. In my opinion. <laughs> I think I have to say that until the end of the year. Um, but I was really proud of the, the ribbon dress because we got that like literally right before I had to leave and me and my partner got to work on it together and like in the chaos of getting ready for Drag Race, being able to like sit down with your partner and have a moment to breathe and be creative together was really nice. Um, so I would say my ribbon runway. I also really loved my metallic runway, which, fun fact, um, was actually being made for a gig Crystal was doing and I said, bitch, I'm going to take that. Sorry. <laughs> And now she can't ever wear it again. <laughs> now, yeah. Lucy, we don't want you to spoil anything, but whose closet out of all your sisters did you really enjoy seeing or just seeing them on the runway? Ooh, um, uh, so I, I was lucky enough to be right next to Sasha. Our stations were right next to each other, which was really great. We're, the, Sasha and I were very, very close, and uh, we were able to help each other out and stuff, and it was always amazing to see what she would pull out. Um, and I think that uh, this entire season, the runways are really, really impressive. A lot of times we would get fully ready and we would look around and be like, all right, no boogers, okay. And you were under the industrial lighting. Too. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And that's, that could be tough. That could be tough on some of us. All right, we have another question right over here. Hi, my name's Josh. I'm from Chicago. Hi, Josh. Um, my question is for all the girls. Um, in your drag persona, what is your uh, persona's natural hair color? This. <laughs> 613 blonde, okay? <laughs> and you can send me all the 613 blonde that you have. Send it right to my P.O. box. I wish my PO I had box. a go-to color. I feel like sometimes my outfits are a little... They just don't match. The hair, ha you know, it's made for the outfit. So I don't know. In my mind, I used to be... Um, when we were, like, in our group all the time, everyone wanted to be blonde. So I was like, okay, I'll be ginger. So I was like, ginger. Ginger Spice. <laughs> um, I think, when I think of Daya in my brain, she has black hair. She's got a cunt little black bob, like Brooke Candy. Like, that's Daya in my brain. That might not be what I'm delivering, but that's what I think I'm delivering. <laughs> good question. I liked it. That was a good question. Yeah. Yeah, I want to do this one right here. What's your name? Hi, my name is Caleb with a K. Yes. Um, and I stood up because my ass Caleb looks Kardashian. good in these pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, spin around Well, let's for see. Us. Turn around. Okay, you pass the test. Word. Oh, it good. I can tell from over here. <laughs> He's dressed like Jake from so. State Farm. <laughs> Bitch, you... Okay, I was going to say it. I was going to say it, but I was like, I can't read. No, but Jake hey. from State Farm could get it, though. I was like, I can't read. So, um, Naisha said to keep it really light, so I wanted to ask a question about mental illness. Uh oh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. What a way to keep I, I it light. I was like, um, Casey, you better get your fucking friend. <laughs> Everyone should go to um, therapy. It's really, really good for you. Um, no, but I did want to ask, who on your respective seasons did you think was not going to impress, but then they actually ended up really impressing you? And then also, who did you think was going to impress, and then they and did it? Locked. Okay. <laughs> who were you pleasantly surprised by? Who I were you underwhelmed by? I thought this was supposed by? to be, like, fun. Yeah. It is. It's fun for us. You should have just asked about mental health, girl. I mean, that's a... That would have been easier for us to answer. Okay, so someone that underwhelmed and someone that overwhelmed? Yes, correct. Okay. Well, I know this. Day one, after getting ready in the workroom, I wrote in my journal, don't get ready next to Heidi in closet because she's a star. Ooh. So... And you know what? I moved the next day, and Nikki Doll didn't, and she went home. Um, so I guess she, well, she didn't underwhelm me. I'm a savage. <laughs> she overwhelmed? No, pleasantly surprised. Under she. Oh, pleasantly surprised, yeah, because her face. We hated, hated her hair and makeup. 
Um, and then who? <laughs> who underwhelmed? I'm you? the villain. Um, wh- okay, and then there's an underwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I the don't fact know. that that was you. I don't think I can say that. You can totally, girls. You can totally say, like, who were you expecting more from that just who didn't you, really yeah. give it to you? Who was, um, like, fierce? Probably, that, like, oh, wait. Who? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> Audience, quiet! Who was it? You were thinking it. Say it. <laughs> say it. Can Betty go while I think? <laughs> <laughs> you're You're just among friends. We're just... Talking. Yeah, we're, we're just, just here talking in the house. And none of the girls are ever going to find out what no, I said. No one's going to know about this conversation. We'll edit it if you want. I don't know. You guys, we were all good. I thought we were all good. Okay, Miss Cogeniality, stop the bullshit. Okay. Like, who were you like, okay, girl, I thought you were going to be a little bit more. Yeah. Doesn't mean they weren't great. They just weren't. Like, Maybe they aren't great. <laughs> what, if, what if we rephrased it? Who went home early that you wish you would have seen more of? I like that. Still the that's, same that's, fucking Well, that's thing. not the question, that, though. No, that's the question. <laughs> the question. That's the question. That's Give not it, bitch. Name. You tried it. She said, I am Listen. wearing pants today. No, 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 no. I am a journalist. Exactly. The question is, who stayed Ooh. longer and should have went home early? Is that the question? That was the question. Naysha put it how we want to hear it. That's how we want to hear it. We just I want you to process it properly. This I is my job. I this is what I know. do. Can we get the elimination order in front of me? Um. <laughs> Come on. We'll, we'll, we'll edit it out for Dahlia you. Dahlia Sin went home edit. first. Dahlia Sin went home first, but she didn't. Well, mm. what did oh. I say? I said Heidi overwhelmed me, and then, yeah, Dahlia underwhelmed. She didn't even have an exit line, you know? So Dahlia. But she was still so hot. I actually bought the buttons and bows look that Dahlia sent got eliminated in. You it bought it. Pussy. Yeah, Did you change it? Um, no, sometimes I just wear it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? What do you do in it? What do you do while you're wearing it? Not like in drag, but oh, around even the house. more weird. To Trader Joe's. It's a beautiful garment. I remember seeing it and being like, <laughs> I remember seeing it and being like, I look so ugly today and she looks so hot. And, um, and so I bought it. Yeah, I feel like I could never wear it, but I love it having it. She's so hot, don't you think? <laughs> Daya, did you answer that question already? I don't think so. Who surprised you and who underwhelmed you? Okay, I will say this. Someone I wanted to see more of that I don't That's feel That's not like... the question. I didn't get to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wanted to see more from Alyssa Hunter. Okay. Personally. Yes. I was next to her in the workroom, and her, pack- her package was amazing. <laughs> But the closet. <laughs> yeah, no, she had some of the coolest shit, and I was like, I was already getting ready to pack my bags for a second time looking at her closet. Um, someone that underwhelmed me. Uh huh. Ooh, 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 bitch. Okay, I'm just saying this because, you know, it was. We had a lot of episodes with no eliminations, as you know, how yeah. I felt. And I think. At Snatch Game, specifically before we did the Lala Perusa. <laughs> Bitch, I cannot with you. No filming. I was like, I think there were some girls on the cast that, like, it was past their time because they had been in the bottom multiple times. Ooh. I don't know if that's like a relevant question to answer now um, because I think we've all changed a lot. The person I think could deliver more than we got to see on my season. From my season, I think Maddie has a lot more to show. And that's what I'm going to say. Maddie did not get the credit she deserved, and she had a lot of shit to show. So I'm going to say, I really wish you could have seen more of Maddie. And we need to stand by our straight allies. Did she answer the question, though? Motherfucking Chris. Okay, the person I wanted with less fucking screen time was the real friends of fucking WeHo, Okay. There, I answered the fucking question. That is the correct answer. I want everyone to watch my live after. I will have the answer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a question shit. over here. We got a question over here. Hi, I'm Lisa. Um, I'm Lisa. from Chicago. I have a question for Crystal. I loved you so much in season 12, and I wanted you. Uh, I wanted to ask, like, how was doing the finale lip sync from home? And also, what did you regurgitate into your own mouth? I'll never tell. Um, I had, 
You know what? That was probably one of the most stressful times of my life. And also, as a drag queen, I am not very organized, and I hate emails. So... Um, I got the dates mixed up on when we had to film the little uh, eleganza look when I was the pinata, and I had to be in an interview with RuPaul and like do press that day. And I, when the person told me, I didn't start it. I start. I did it the day before, but I only did the front, and then I just sent in the rest of my footage late <laughs> after I finished the pinata. And then um, the bird video, it was due at midnight, and I started. In your opinion. And in my opinion, I started filming at 11 p.m. Because <laughs> I was like, how hard is it going to be to make a little bird puppet? Well, it took a while. Um, and so then, yeah, but it was fun to do it all myself. But also, I was also the most stressed out I've ever been in my life. And, like, my boyfriend, was a he was a camera person for the whole thing. Um, and he's awful with a camera. So... That we fought a lot over that because I was like, turn the hair dryer on and blow it in my face. So it looks like I'm playing. He was like, it's gonna be loud. I'm like, they're not gonna hear it. And I was like, get me the vomit. And he's like, no, don't do it. It's gross. And I was like, this is a your lip sync. And like, my head's just in a sheet hole, like, go get it. Um, but yeah, I didn't make it, but I wanna say from what I remember tasting it, it was like spinach and pineapple. Yeah. Fuck. Classic. All right, we have, um, do you have one? Uh, I, I have do, I have one right here. Okay, cool. Hi. Hey, my name is Juan, my question is for Lucy. I do wanna say that I appreciate you saying that you were like made fun of by your teachers, because that was my experience as well in school, and I don't know how common that is, but I never heard that before from somebody else, so I love that you said that. Um, and also, at this point of the competition, even though there's like 70 girls left, having a rough first week, but a great second week, and an awesome third week, when you walk through that, uh, workroom after that. Do you feel like tough bitch or you still feel like insecure about your position in the competition? I, n I never felt insecure. I, I, I really, really didn't. I think because I've done this for a really fucking long time. I just went in there thinking like I have to stay positive because as soon as you start to question yourself that's when they give you the boot. So um, I, I never questioned myself, honestly. I knew that I was prepared. I knew that I had brought everything that I needed to. I knew that I was mentally and physically in the right um, mind frame to, to just keep going forward. So I, I never, even after that first episode, I, I did not feel defeated at all. Because I was like, I'm still going to eat it up. So she's secure and humble. She's secure and humble. Yeah, no, no, I mean, honestly, like, it, it's, it's hard because I, we're, I constantly ask questions about what we're good at and how we were feeling, and if it's anything, hard not to feel. Yeah, if anything, you've got to be nervous, because now they're like, you were good one week, and now you're in the bottom. Yeah? I, I don't know. I, I feel like that always happens. <laughs> I'm like a freak of nature. Because they're like, like, you're I so good, no, how come you weren't good this time? I don't, like, uh, I don't, I... In one of those like really weird people, I'm having just a moment with them. I'm having, I'm one of those really weird people. Like I very rarely feel anxiety you at all. You feel consistent, and uh, that's good. I'm very, I'm, I'm very happy that I'm, I feel that way mentally. But um, it takes a lot to get me nervous. It really does, which, which helps. Yeah, it helps for sure. If it was the lack of sleep that was way worse than the nerves, honestly. Okay. Well, speaking of helping, um, Daya Crystal, is there one piece of advice you would give to Lucy or any girl on a current season that you wish you would have had going into yours? Ooh. No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. At, at, um, We're going to ask let for it more marinate. The Bring we'll your own porn. We'll let it marinate, and you could think about that one really quick, but we have a question right here. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Mark from Chicago. Uh, I'm concerned. I have a question for Diabetti. When you had your ribbon yes. look, yes. did the ribbons turn kind of sideways and cut your skin? Oh. Gag. Okay. Everyone needs to know about that. Okay, this. everyone yeah. thought I was, like, actually bleeding. Yeah. Yes. I, before that lip sync, I had long red nails and I had scooped like red cream under my nails to give the effect. Come home. There was, there was like a, a, a lyric in the song that says, it gives me so much pleasure, but also causes me pain. 
And so I was like, oh, it'd be sickening, I guess, if I like showed that in some sort of symbolic, metaphorical way of scratching myself, which didn't read and was actually kind of a terrible idea. So it was lipstick on my fingernails. I thought it worked great, but yeah, people yeah. Were, were just worried about you the know, self-harm. It did so well that it sent me home that episode. So. <laughs> but it was, it was red, like a red cream paint makeup. Yeah. Not blood. Not blood. Did you bleed at all during the season? I had this really terrible blister on my taint from my tuck it up panties. You're in drag a lot. You're in drag 24 seven. But like I said, we were low on porn, so I had plenty of smelling material. Oh, crafty queen. Is that disgusting? <laughs> no. I, ha I have a question for Lucy. That was a joke, you guys. I <laughs> that was a joke. Thank you, thanks, <laughs> thanks. I have a question for Lucy. Okay. Yes. Uh, this is in regards to your talent as uh -huh. well as Irene's talent. Okay. And everyone, include everyone else if it applies to them. Okay. Do you feel that sometimes with these talents, they're kind of edited a little bit to fit a certain narrative? Now, did Irene's talent really read that horrible while you were there watching it? Um, in my opinion... Irene did say last week she got some chuckles, so we'll throw that out. In my there. opinion, yes, there there is some there is some editing done. It's a television show; every single scene that you see is edited. Um, I, I I know that I at the very least I do remember when the ice fell over. I went ha, like that, so they cut that, you know. But um, yes, they. Uh, in my opinion, there is some creative stuff going on. Can I Good say this, to just to kind of bounce off of this? If you were to sit, see that number live from Irene, the full like seven to eight minutes that it is, Irene is fucking incredible at performing. She tells a story, she's funny as fuck. Like, she's very smart. She's, she's so smart. smart. I just don't think it read well for the, the minute or two you have to cut it down to. Um, <laughs> yeah, yes, that's all and, I was gonna say. and the background music, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the background music was not the same music that she actually performed to. It was something kind of. I I personally don't remember the 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 music part of that of that particular one. Any other questions? I do. I have a question right oh, back all here. All right, over there. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Melissa. I'm from Columbus. Hi, Ohio. Melissa. Get the fuck out of Columbus, Melissa. Nina West. I, tr I tried. Nina West, yes. Um, so, so, we may or may not have heard that Crystal and Daya are in the same drag family. So, <laughs> so what? And Lucy. And Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is like the coolest thing or like the most fun thing, whatever, that Crystal? You've taught Daya, or and and Daya, you've taught Crystal. Like, what do you feel is like the most fun, the most interesting, whatever thing that you've taught each other? Valuable moments. <laughs> I'll say this, just because she does mean so much to me. Crystal has taught me not to take anything to heart too seriously. Um, I, you know, in case you watch season fourteen, I did go through it on Twitter pretty much every week. And I am so glad that I had a drag family to lean on and tell me, girl, just get through this next week. You'll be fine. None of these bitches matter. I think, like, reassurance in knowing who I am, despite people not necessarily catching on to it right away, that's the best thing Crystal has taught me. Um, and also, how to just be accepting of, like, not that I wasn't accepting before, but, like, <laughs> Crystal truly taught me that everybody's perspective does matter, especially when it comes to the creative realm. Um, so, you know, just because if something is not your taste, it doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means that it's not your taste, and that's okay. Um, yeah, Crystal's taught me a lot. The stupid bitch. I love her. Uh, I do. Everything I love her. she knows. Um, <laughs> no, I think what was so fun about uh, Betty is that she's got more of, like, a theatrical, like, she did show choir growing up. She was Shrek in Shrek the Musical, okay? Oh, fear! A freaking I was. star. Um, and so whenever we started working together... Stop it! <laughs> when we started working together, we started doing more, like... Um, 
choreography, dance numbers, like, as groups. And so we really Because we're both dancing divas. Yes. And so she really helped me, like, elevate our show that we did. And, of course, like, looks and everything. You're, like, always getting ready next to each other. You're, like, looking how she's getting ready. Like, and we're trying to be prettier than the other one. So it was, like, fun to, like... Totally. Push each other to try harder. Also, our drag, our other, um, I we have some more drag family here. Drag sister Lux. Lux yes, is Lux over is here, here in the corner. Yeah. Lux Queen. <laughs> With her House of Love cocktail. <laughs> and then I also have some other uh, drag sisters here. Jimmy Anti and Dagan Michelle. If you're in here, I love you guys. They're in the front. Yes, oh, they're back there. in the front. Uh, so we're going to go to Untucked at 9 o'clock. So we're going to try to get to these last two questions really quick. So let's try to get these answers like really fast so they can yeah. ask them, yeah? Speed round. Hi, for Lucy LaDuca, after doing a fabulous Joan Rivers, what's the key to an impeccable snatch game? I think uh, n- knowing knowing the character inside and out. Because at the end of the day, it is an improv challenge. So what I think a mistake that people do is they come in with these like – these bits already prepared, and you don't know what Rue's gonna ask you. So you have to know what that character would say to any question. Yeah, so it's, you have to be really prepared. And last question. Hello, uh, ooh, my name's Lawrence from Vancouver, Canada. Uh, Sunday is the start of the Lunar New Year. Uh, if you know your zodiac, <laughs> if you know your zodiac animal, what is it and how would you interpret it into a costume? Our zodiac animal? Zodiac animal. How do okay, you know I might be mistaken. I could be completely wrong. I think I was the rat. I was 96. Little rat in the back of the class. Yeah, you I was. You were born in 1996? 1996? I'm a baby. Oh, my oh, God. Bitch. Girl, we got to go. I told you. <laughs> well, we are aunties down. I was born in 1998, so. <laughs> but if I were to, like, reimagine that into, like, a drag sense, I would. <laughs> I would wear what Willow Pill wore in our last episode where she was the mouse. Um, yep. I'm pretty sure I'm the sheep, the year of the sheep. Um, so maybe something like knitted. Does that count? Fierce. I was the year of the horse, so I would just go naked. <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up. I'm the year of the bat. I don't know. I don't know oh. what I am. A Batman. But I know look. I wasn't born in 1996, bitch. What year were you born? Jealous. Calm down now, Nation. <laughs> she was already in hair school by then. Not too much. Not, Not I was much. in hair school in 96. <laughs> what year was that, Batty? I was born in 86. You're born in 86. Yeah, don't you try it, bitch. You're older than me. Bitch, I'm not. I was born in 84. See? 80s? Do we have other 80s babies? 80s babies? Yay. Yeah. 90s 80. babies? That's where this the, the degree of separation, bitch. Are there any 2000s babies? Ah! Are you fucking Security. kidding me? All of you could go fuck Security. yourselves. <laughs> I remember when Georges was telling us how yes. old she was. She was like, I was born in 2001. And, and I was one. like, you fucking Was she bitch. really? Like 2000, 2001, I can't remember. But bitch, hearing like 2000s I was worried about the Y2K, but like, <laughs> I, I was a sophomore in high school and that bitch was born. Kelly Clarkson just won American Idol. That is why. Oh, my God. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and get to our Untucked. Please make some noise for our lovely guests. And thank you guys for all your questions. Uh, we love it. We love, 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 love. And, of course, YouTube, make sure you keep commenting and all that good stuff. Uh, we'll continue to send our shout-outs. And also a special shout-out to every, everyone over at the front bar. Yes, hello, hello, everyone. We love Hi. you up there, and thank you guys for watching. They're all watching up there. They don't get to the Q&A, but maybe one day we'll go up there and do a little something. No promises. Um, but okay, with that. Do you that, remember when we had to do that when we were doing the Olive Garden? When we had our Olive Garden. We had an Olive Garden in here, literally. Everyone was social distance. There it were tables. We had Christmas lights Bread and leaves. <laughs> it was the tackiest most gorgeous thing we had we were, going on. We had an upgrade. <laughs> Never ending soup and salad. It was literally like yeah. the Olive Garden in here. And everyone was at a table. And we would have 20 people in the room. And we're like, oh, bitch, we're busy we're today. We're busy. <laughs> we're busy. Every table's taken. Maybe there was four tables. <laughs> Girl, we're performing. Not, we're we're, 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 we're performing. It's like that TikTok. You can hear that. <laughs> It was literally <laughs> happening. It was so funny. It was so good. We want to thank you guys uh, yeah. so much for coming each and every week, supporting us, Roscoe's, and the, our local and our national talent here. We thank you guys so much. Please continue to support. Please continue to describe. 
Um, my name is Caramel Deville. Yeah. My name is Batty Davis. And I'm Nisha Lopez. I don't know. <laughs> we're really not going anywhere. I don't know I why know. we're saying our names. Because Cause I wanted to follow I don't know, suit. I don't know what these bitches are going. They're still out of work. I don't yeah, know. Why. I'll be right here. <laughs> and I'm Crystal Method. <laughs> I love Crystal. I, I love, love Crystal. Crystal. <laughs> I'm Diabetty. I get asked when I'm out in Hollywood if, I, if I'm Diabetty all, all the time. You is don't sound insane? happy about that. Is that, that insane? I'm like, what? She's getting hate crimed on the side of the street. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, is that show over with? No, it's still going. Oh, they're going over. <laughs> like Steve Harvey, bitch. It's a two-hour premiere episode. Stop. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing all Is that. Is it really? I <laughs> would have to go. No, I'd have to go. We're definitely not doing that. Don't forget to stick around till 10.30 p.m. Uh, because we have a show at 10.30. All of the girls will be entertaining. It's going to be a great, great, great show. And uh, Crystal, where are you living at now? Because you're still here in Chicago, yes? Where are you living at now? I live in Koreatown, yes. Oh, I love. L.A., baby. That's what I say anytime anything bad happens, like parts for my car being stolen or getting locked out of my apartment. <laughs> L.A. It happens. Yes. When you see me in a movie, don't be surprised. It was just I was discovered on the sidewalk. <laughs> on the left side of the sidewalk? Yeah. yeah. Diabet, are you still right up the street, Diva? Yeah. I live here in Chicago. Yes. No. Yeah. Lucy, do you plan on moving after the season or during? Yeah, the girls, the girls um, always move once they get on the season. I, I haven't quite figured that out yet. I'm not really sure. I, I've been in Connecticut for a really long time, and my friends and family are there, and my dog likes it there, and that's really what's most important. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sure. I haven't quite figured it out. i got to see where the opportunities bring me. But Connecticut's cute, though. It is, honestly. Connecticut's cute. Connecticut. Connecticut. But if I do move, it's going to be to Chicago! <laughs> La Duca. I'm moving in with you, Daya. <laughs> Great. No, just kidding. <laughs> she went, do you like eating bugs as well? <laughs> oh, I love eating bugs. Bugs are... Oh, actually, well, I did answer in that thing. They asked us in some promo thing. They're like, would you eat a bug or willow spaghetti? Yeah. And I was like, I would absolutely eat the dragonfly. I mean, who sure. would eat a dragonfly over that spaghetti in the bathtub? Anybody? Absolutely. What? Spaghetti? A dragonfly? No. <laughs> what if you were being paid a thousand dollars to eat a dragonfly? Yes. Oh, Mama, I do it for half. Yeah. Wait, Daya, was it a thousand? It was a thousand. I thought it was a yeah. hundred. Work, bitch. No, it was a thousand. Did you get a thousand? I got a thousand. Oh, that's yeah. good. Half of it went to therapy, and half of it went to yeah. <laughs> literally, literally like a Taco Bell order. On that note, let's go right back to Untucked. We're gonna go right back to RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, well, wow. that didn't age well. Okay. <laughs> what happened to that? Yeah. Lucy, were there any of the girls that didn't give you praise? Spice was like psych. Um, in Untucked? Um, gotcha. I don't think so. I, I don't think so. There were, I mean, I don't know. But maybe maybe the bottom girls may have been too focused on. Too fo I mean, yeah. I mean, so I don't, I don't think so. There was no one who was like, you did bad. So well, Mistress definitely just told Marsha that. Yeah, and this just read her down. <laughs> yeah, she's, yeah, she's Marcia kind of was the being a little delusional, right? I don't know if delusional. I think maybe if her runway would have just been like a smidge more um, draggy. draggy. Drag. Yeah, great. What word. was it? What was it, everyone? What was Marcia being? Scientist? She was a dentist. <laughs> I missed she, that part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she had to explain it, and that's the problem. We were saying that if you have to explain it on the runway, then did it really do its job? I think she went more like it, it was more like a fear instead of a nightmare because people fear the fucking dentist. They have a phobia. But I don't think it's like a whole nightmare thing. And I think that's where it kind of got like, I love lost. the dentist. I think the dentist's office smells so good. <laughs> Who's with me? <laughs> Not the eight of you. I, <laughs> yes, the eight of us. Um, I hate the dentist. I hate it. That's you my the mine are made of wood. I just got health care, so I haven't been to the dentist in a while. <laughs> and, and health and, and dental's not even included, girl. No, bitch, it is. It's expensive. <laughs> okay, so really quick. Um, so everyone's back there, uh, Lucy, and the twins say that madness, whatever. 
Do you think they would have gone through with it? Uh, yeah, I, I do. I think I think when they, uh, in my opinion, when they first said that, I was like, oh, like they've they've already made up their mind, um, and you know, obviously that is they did not go through with that, and I'm happy that they didn't. Um, but yeah, I think that they were surprised uh, to be in the bottom, and uh, I think that they really lean on each other so much that they didn't want to be in the. In the competition, if it were not that for both of them, you know. Bitch, you better believe the next episode. I'd be like, so why aren't you gone? You said you, would, you said you were going home if this if Sugar. Oh, we was know home. you would. Well, I mean, you, you know, did it to Jasmine. <laughs> Y'all trying to start something? No. <laughs> no. I love that you said that. Like we were gonna have a surprise reaction, and we're like, we know, Tyler, we know. But no, I, and Lucy touched on this. Like you're there to fucking win. I'm sorry. Like I get it. If it's your sister, great. But like, bitch, you want it? Ju- if you don't want it that bad, get the fuck out. Get out. Get out. Do you, let me ask you this. Do you think they said it in a way to get production to be like, well, they're both gonna fucking leave. Let's not put them in the bottom because they're both gonna leave. They're smart girls. Yes. Yeah, they're they're very smart. And I think yeah. that's what it was. They're so smart. No, totally. Fully. I don't know. I, I, had, I hadn't thought of that, but anyway, I don't know. I don't know. That's my answer. I mean, and look, we're talking about it. And it so. could be. Well, I, and I will ask them next week when they are here because I will. Um, but we'll find out. Um, yeah, besides Marsha, was there anyone else that was maybe delusional about their performance or where they played? I love that you said besides Marsha. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I didn't see half of it, you know? Let's see what they say. It sounds like Lux thinks she's that girl and wants to let all of you know it at any chance she gets. Is that true? Lux is a very confident girl. <laughs> I was going to say, well, in your opinion. In, in your opinion, yes. would you say that um, on set, it was just, it came off confident or it came off cocky? Um, I think it, that it came off very, very, very confident. Strongly confident, it did. Um, Borderline. She's, she's a she's a girl who she uh, you know started not that long ago, and she was able to like really gain a following very quickly. And I think it's it's probably hard not to feel like you're that bitch if you get you know that much so quickly. Yeah, she's a confident girl. Yeah. We've talked uh, uh, in the prior weeks. We did discuss uh, the comparison in queens with the ones who have started with social media and, you know, Instagram and all that kind of stuff uh, in comparison to the girls who did not. They start performing and are more entertainers. Did you really, like, and and I want to know what you guys think about this, too. Do you see a huge difference in that? And did you witness a huge difference in that in the workroom? I feel like you're looking for the future of drag, right? Like, that's the whole point of the competition. So it's like, who gives a fuck if you're, like, popping off on social media? Like, maybe that's the future of drag. Maybe, like, it is all digital. You don't know. So I don't think you should, like, discount anybody's version of drag, I guess. But some is better than others. You know? Yeah. Like, sometimes, sometimes it's just like, you know, th- there are experiences you have backstage with other drag queens that if you are a bedroom queen or a girl on social media, not that it makes you any less of a performer or entertainer. It's just like, there's experiences. Yeah, it doesn't make you less of a performer or entertainer if you've only performed once. But no. maybe they're performing in other ways. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is, I'm telling you, social media, like, that's a big part of our job now is social media. That is a task, you guys. There's a lot that goes into that shit. Social media is so hard. You guys, the amount of times I've been dragging just don't want to take photos of myself. I'm like, uh. I didn't post any runways for my season because I was like, my boyfriend's bad at taking photos. We went over Nobody asked for your runways to be posted. (laughs) Also, that part, not every... Runway needs Needs to be posted. No. Especially your bad ones. Some of them look better on the TV. Totally. I would say that the distinction for me is um, if you are a social media girl or if you're a longtime performer, you need to be able to deliver in person. So, you know, if your social media is really amazing, then that's that's incredible. But you can't edit in person. So um, I have nothing against social media queens, but you need to be able to deliver in the room at the time. And I and think that's key, yeah. yeah. If yeah. the Maxi Challenge calls for, like, a social media thing and they don't do well, bye, bitch. We're staying, we're staying, we're both staying. So they did all that for nothing, damn it. Mm. 
It was an emotionally charged episode. Yes, thank God for Mother Sasha. Yes, oh, seriously. Uh, is she, how has she been in all, all season? Sasha is... Listen up, Roscoe's. Sasha Colby is an angel on this planet. She really is. She, like, I was... Uh, she, I've been obsessed with her forever. I was watching YouTube videos of her uh, before Daya was born in 1996. Literally. And uh, to, to go there and see her... If anyone could be like a rotten bitch, it, she would have, you know, the credits to kind of be that way. She's so wonderful, so loving, and um, it's so wild to me now that, like, she was my idol. And now I look down at my phone and she's calling me to talk shit. It's, uh, it's so fierce. Incredible. What does she she's say? Amazing. She <laughs> said that Daya lies about her age. She was born in 94. No, I don't know. Uh, no, she's, uh, she's, she's incredible. She's an amazing person. So goddamn talented. <gasps> My belt came off. <laughs> I loved all of you. Oh, more, I blame more. the gaze of West Hollywood. <laughs> okay, so were you guys, the energy in the room right now, was everyone pretty certain that it was going to be sugar and spice in the bottom? I think so, yeah. I, I mean, they were so emotional, and uh, it, 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 we felt like you can kind of feel the energy in the room, and we felt like it was, it was likely going to be them. Um, and it was, it was tough. We, it, that, that really, I will say, that was totally genuine emotion coming from them. I think that it hit them all, all at once. It's a hard environment to be in. And then when you're faced with maybe going home, it, it all, you know, I think hits people. And so... Uh, that was all real. It was very emotional. And we had a lot of those House of Love cocktails that day, too. So that uh, <laughs> they joined in. Look at that Lucy LaDuca t-shirt. Yes, ma'am, mybestjudy.com. We have a new merch launch tonight. Work. Thank Good you. you. I like how everyone in Untucked was like pulling the twins aside, being like, so I heard that you said you would both go home. Is that true? <laughs> you know, like yeah. Well, you don't want to hear that when no, you're there. You want to hear not. like you want to stay here. Yeah. And, and um, I think we kind of, I think we got them together though. Yeah. Except for Mistress, I felt like she was like, "One of y'all bitches needs to go." <laughs> yeah, we were all like, "I'm gonna miss you too," and she was like, <laughs> "Like one of those old uh, Victorian photos." But it's said to be that she is their drag mother now. Like she's kind of taking them under the wing. Is that still under the? Are we still under that circumstance at this point in the competition? At this point in the competition, I don't know. Maybe week by week, ladies. We love sugar. Girls, we love like her the season so just much. started with thirteen queens. Damn. Aww. Shout out to sugar. I know that had to be. I we mean, you go her. there with so much support from you know y your other half, pretty much, and then to be separated. I know that had to be tough. So shout out to sugar. We love you and can't we wait to have you, so you here much. next yeah. week. Um, in addition to sugar, we'll have her sister Spice as well as Amethyst joining us next week. Yes. It's going to be a good week. Yes, yes, yes. But this week is fire. We have Miss Diabetti. <laughs> Crystal Method. To the beat of the rhythm of the night. And give it up for Lucy, Lucy LaDuca. La yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to stick around till 10.30 p.m. The show will start at 10.30 p.m. We have a great show in store for you guys. Make some noise one more time for your cast. Yes. Follow all the divas on social media. We will be back next week. My name is Caramel Deville once again. I'm Batty Davis. And my name is Nasha Lopez. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you, YouTube, for tuning in. Keep the comments coming. We love you. Ciao.